great view of the crowd at Montana State University. Brother Jed Smock is preaching to a crowd of sinners. Will you answer my question? You're a star now, Jed. Okay, now, students, the second tour me was Fred. Fred was studying agriculture, going to be a farmer. Fred was from a nice rural town in Iowa. He was He might as well sow his wild oats and get involved with the promiscuous world. His first week in the dorms, Fred Matt, Instead of 
you're becoming a lawyer, Larry had yeah, to get it! Today, he served 10 to 15 years in the penitentiary. The best and final dormy was Corny Herring. Yeah. Corny Herring was not as handsome as the other four, so he had to take whatever he could get. <laughs> Finally, after three weeks in the dorm, Corny Herring met Ruff and Roll. Like to fornicate! But there was one thing she liked better than her fornication! And that was her rock and roll! She liked to listen to the who. Yeah! Who? 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 sexual immorality. You can lose your health and never regain it. But you need to consider these things. God's Spirit will not always strive with man. God's Spirit is striving you to repentance today, to forsake your wicked ways and put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ or you'll surely die in your sins and weep and wail and gnash your teeth throughout eternity. I challenge you to give me one intelligent reason why you should have sex outside of marriage. Because it feels good. Capitalism. Feels good. Find out if you should get married. 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 Find out if you should get married.
Well, you people are governed by your feelings instead of your intellect. It's better than masturbation. Dr. <laughs> Sim. This guy has his mind between his legs. <laughs> hey, at least he's got one. Great question. Hey, how's it about checking it out first? Hey, I want a new house, not a used house. <laughs> God's gonna tan your hides, but good one of these. Okay, by the way, where'd you get your tan? Is there anybody out here that wants to stop sinning and will promise God that you'll I'm willing to promise God that you'll never sin again? No way! Well then not you even qualify to be Christian. I said, how can you not sin if you're imperfect? You're still be tempted. Like Jesus was tempted. And if you are, so all tempted. Peter denied Christ three times. What? I said, Peter denied Christ three times. I said, he still was accepted. Judas denied him and betrayed him, but he went out and hurt himself. He didn't uh, repent, see? So, yes, God will forgive you. Should a Christian succumb to sin, like David succumbed to adultery and then murder, God will forgive you. Do you ever succumb to sin or are you perfect? Are you perfect? Yes. Good job. Yes. Yes.